Sunday School, Pastor Steve here. Now at this point, Jesus has returned to heaven, and it's time for the disciples to get to work. In this series of lessons, we see how God's Holy Spirit empowers Peter to preach the gospel, heal people, and confront sin so that others might come to know Jesus as well. Our series verse comes from Romans 10.14, and it says, How then can they call on the one who they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? You see, this verse reminds us that the only way for others to believe in Jesus is for us to share the good news. Before today's story, let's spend some time in prayer and worship. Then we'll get into our lesson. Please join me, eyes closed, heads bowed. Gentlemen, hats off, let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this morning for a chance to get together to worship and praise you. And thank you also, Father, for the gift of the Holy Spirit that empowered not only Peter, but empowers us as believers to share the gospel, to tell others about Jesus Christ, his death and his life and his resurrection. God, we love you and we thank you in your precious and holy name. Amen.
you do things right But I make the wrong choice sometimes And you forgive me No one knows me, God, like you You see who I am, not what I do And you forgive me
The early church was growing. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the apostles were telling people that Jesus had been raised from the dead. A large group of believers met together in Jerusalem. They shared everything they had. If someone had more than he needed, he gladly gave it away so everyone had what he needed. One man, Barnabas, sold a field and gave the money to the apostles. The apostles used the money to help people in need. Everyone who had land or houses did the same. Ananias and his wife, Sapphira, sold some land and pretended to give all the money to the apostles, but they kept some of it for themselves. When Ananias brought the money to the apostles, Peter asked him, Why are you lying to the Holy Spirit? You could have been honest about what you did with the money, but instead you lied. Not to us, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down, died, and was buried. Everyone who heard about this was filled with fear. About three hours later, Sapphira came to the apostles. She did not know what had happened to her husband. Peter asked her, Is this all the money you got for the land? Yes, she said, that's all of it. Peter said, Why did you and your husband agree to test the Lord? Then Sapphira fell dead too. Great fear came on everyone in the church and all who heard about these things. Ananias and Sapphira wanted to look generous, but they were greedy and chose to lie. The Holy Spirit changes our hearts to want to share with those in need. Jesus generously gave all he had so we can share in his riches and have forgiveness and eternal life. Oh yes, I'm the great pretender Pretending that I'm doing well I buy But no one can tell Oh yes, I'm the great 